Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, this is Beauty by Christina V, obviously. And I just filmed this easy, simple drugstore tutorial using all drugstore products. Um, I go over them as I go. And yeah, it's super quick, super easy. It's just like a very light, smoky eye with um, very light lashes as well. Pink lip, perfect for spring. Um, I will list everything down below in the description box. Please check it out when you're done. Leave a comment, like it. If you like this video, subscribe. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna do a full face of makeup using only drugstore products. So for, I'm gonna mix foundation because I'm like not tan. So I have Maybelline Matte and Poreless, which is the best, the best, the best, the best drugstore foundation ever. If you don't have it and you want a cheap foundation, it's like $10, buy it. I already have moisturizer on. I already kind of have my brows done because I worked earlier and the only thing I put on every day is eyebrows. So I'm going to do primer and the primer that I think is the best drugstore primer is this Rimmel you see that? Yes, Stay Matte Primer. Really good. I'm super oily, like in my T zone here. So throughout the day, I actually use the Palladio blotting oil blotting wipe things. Um, they have like that. Mine has translucent powder, but they have like different colors. But I like blot it here, 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 all day, and it absorbs the oil into the powder or the sheet, whatever it is. But they're like super cheap. I get it from Sally's. Or you can get it from the website for Palladio or Sally's or whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm super oily. So I use this th um, sometimes when I'm doing makeup. And I just put it in my T-zone. And a little bit up here. And that help. I mean, it doesn't totally, not gonna lie, doesn't totally keep my oil away, but it helps the situation. Maybelline Mountain Poreless, best one. You need to get it. This is shade 228 Soft Tan. I'm not a soft tan right now. I'm not any tan really, but I'm running low on drugstore foundations because I use this on people, clients a lot because it's one of the best, especially with photography. So... Yeah, I'm going to use this and I'm going to mix a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Coverage with it. Um, this is also a really good one. It's a long wear illuminating foundation and I feel like illuminating with oily skin equals more oily skin. So when I mix these two together to make a perfect combination, I don't really get that oily. So let's talk about this guy. This is your best friend. I have two beauty blenders that I, well, I don't want to say beauty blenders, beauty sponges that I love. The first one is the Morphe one, the red one. You know what I'm talking about with the little, the angle. You know what I'm talking about. That one's bomb AF. But this one, first of all, I have a big ass head and it's like almost the size of my head and it's dry right now. So this one is really freaking dirty too, but whatever. So this one is like $10, I think, or... I may be lying. I don't know. It's cheap though. From Ulta. It's Real Techniques. The body sponge. Not the face one because the face one's like little and this one's not. So this is the body one. It literally like, you'll see, my foundation's done in like 30 seconds. I do not feel like getting up to wet my beauty sponge. So what I do when I'm lazy and my husband's not home to do it for me <laughs> is I take my Evian facial water spray and I just spray it and squeeze, spray and squeeze, spray and squeeze. And voila, you have a wet beauty sponge without removing your ass from your seat. Just wiping the stuff off my mirror. One second. Morphe brushes are life. I know there's a lot of things going around about Morphe brushes and 
their affiliates and people just saying they're good but they're not good no they're good they're cheap af they're good these other freaking people want to charge $30 for a makeup brush, but this is like $6. And then if you use one of those people who you watch on YouTube's Morphe codes, not me because I don't have one yet, but one day. But anyway, if you use their codes, you get like 10% off, I think, or 15, I don't know, something. Um, like Manny or Laura or Jaclyn Hill or any of the other 50 people that have them. But how do you beat that? How do you beat that? Because you go to Sephora... And you buy a makeup brush, and they're like, oh, that'll be $45, please. And you're like, I got one brush. Why is it $45? I don't know. I don't understand either. I have a shitload of brushes. And, like, I mean, I mean a shitload. A shitload. And I would say 95% of them are Morphe. And anything else that's not Morphe... Uh, I don't know why I bought it because Morphe's life. So, I mean, I will say I hear a lot of people talk about um, Smith brushes. <sighs> Here's the thing they look cool. I first heard about Smith brushes from um, Jamie Genevieve, who, if you don't follow her, you need to reevaluate your life. Because she is life. And she used this like little rectangular looking one to buff in her foundation. And I was like, okay, I need that. But it was like $35 or something for one brush. And then it's like from the other side of the pond. So it, there's like a $20 shipping. And you're like, what? The? No. So I have not. And I splurge. I splurge on makeup more than I should. More than I should. But I'm not spending that on a makeup brush. I'm not spending that on a makeup brush. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I don't care what he says. Smith brushes, if you're listening to my video, highly doubt it. But if you are, maybe you should lower your prices and I will try them. Maybe. Oh, by the way, I'm buffing this into my skin using my ginormous sponge. And now I look like a ghost. That's okay. I like to cover my lips because I have super pigmented lips. I have really pigmented lips. I don't know why. I mean, who cares why? But they, if I don't cover them and I put lipstick on top of my non covered lips I feel like the color isn't true because um because my lips are so dark fun fact when I was in sixth grade elementary school my teacher was Mrs. Shinsky at Nokomis Elementary School she we had a very strict no makeup policy for sixth graders first of all if you're sixth grader where is my spray is wearing makeup, you have a problem, okay? And I see these little prostatots walking around wearing makeup. I don't know what these parents are doing, but my dad would not let us wear makeup until we were 16. Did I listen? No, but I wasn't wearing makeup in sixth grade, okay? Maybe like, maybe when I was like 15 or 14, but not sixth grade, okay? So anyway, she called me to the front of the class. She said, Christina, come here. Come to the front of the class. She's like, Christina, come to the front of the class for a second. I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe I did something great. Who knows? Probably not, but who knows? So she called me to the front of the class. And she's like, hands me a tissue. And I'm like, yeah, OK. She says, wipe your lips. I'm like, what? She's like, wipe your lips. You have lipstick on. Mind you, this is in front of the whole class. Boys and girls, everyone's there watching the situation, okay? I'm like, lady, I don't have lipstick on. She's like, yeah, you do. Wipe it off. I'm like... 
Okay. I'm trying to knock in. I take this. This is dirty ass makeup wipe. But I'm going to use it. I take this and I'm like, there's nothing there. My lips are red. Okay. And she was like, oh, okay. Who does that? First of all, how old are you in sixth grade? Like 11? I don't know. 10? 9? I don't know. But like, who does that to a child? Like, like if I said I'm not wearing lipstick, it's because I'm not wearing lipstick, okay? Like, how ridiculous is that? I can't. Me and my best friend still talk to, about that to this day. And Mashinsky, if you're watching, that was rude, okay? I'm just blending in this concealer on my eyes, under my eyes, trying to brighten my face. If I'm looking down, it's because my mirror is down here. I'm getting old, I can't see that far. Okay. Everything is blended. This isn't technically drugstore, but it's like $5. Okay, maybe it's like $9, I don't know. It's something dollars under 10. And you can buy it online, and it's called RCMA powder. And it's this huge thing. I've had this thing for like two years. And let, let's look how much I've used. Okay? Like, nothing. I don't use it every day. I don't use it all the time. I, I mix my shit up. I have a lot of different things. I like to use a lot of different things. But I love this powder. I always use it on other people. I always use it on myself. It works well. It's translucent. Some of these places are like, oh, my powder's translucent. Meh. And then you have, it looks like someone took chalk and drew over your face with it. No, this is translucent. Tra translucent. 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 This is translucent. It does not flash back. I don't think it flashes back, but you know, other people say other things. And it's called the RCMA No Color Powder. This is three ounces. I'm still using it like 18,000 years later. Now, the one thing I hate about this freaking thing is the container, the packaging. So it's like a giant salt shaker. You open it, this is, it's like baby powder. Why can't it just be in a tub? Because now, now this is what happens with my life. I have to open it. Things are already flying everywhere. I have to go, ooh, ooh. you see the smoke? Can you see the smoke? It's going everywhere, okay? Now I have to dip my sponge. Let's dip the sponge. P.S. Not everyone needs to set their under eyes. Sometimes if you have dry under eyes, if you set it, you'll look like an 85 year old woman in seconds with like creepy under eyes. But I, mine are like, like hormonal. One day they're like, oh, we're dry. And then the next day it's like, Oh, we're soaking wet with oil now. It really depends on the day. I like try to always set them, but I mean, sometimes they crepe, sometimes they don't. I don't even care. I just do it. Keeps the oils away, whatever. I also do right here and here. Only a little, a smidgen. Okay. Now here's the rest of my problem. Okay. Now I still have all of this left. I mean, it was cheap. Do I want to waste it? No, but watch. And now I have white powder all over my shit. So that's my only complaint about that. Is it the end of the world? No, it's not. I'm just being dramatic. But, you know, being dramatic is my forte. I, ha I used to have the NYX... Um, contour kit but I'm pretty sure I gave it to one of my sisters I don't know they like to raid my shit and I give them my shit sometimes and I forget and then I accuse them of stealing it story of my life so I'm sorry I feel like I look like a boy right now okay so I like the wet and wild contour Kit. It has like a highlight shade and a contour shade. I find this to be the closest to my Kat Von D shade and light palette with this shade and and this shade. Um, so yeah, that's why I like this one. But I'm gonna take this. Oh, side note: 
Wet n Wild also has good brushes. Um, they're also cheap. Drugstore. Really cute. Like, look at this brush. Tell me that's not like the cutest little thing you've ever seen. Like, come on. Look at this. That's, that's bomb AF packaging. Okay. Anyway, so literally a tiny, tiny, tiny pit. It is pigmented. Okay. Just do a little bit. Just just the tip okay now that I'm done being a five-year-old just a little bit my husband's gonna come home and be like why isn't dinner made why are you putting makeup on it's like seven o'clock at night it's for the cause okay for the cause Okay, so you see how that just gave like a little bit of like shade around. Now we gotta do the triple chin that we got going on. So I'm just running under there, running over this bad boy. And right here, make sure you get like behind the ear and like this like little thing you got going on here because that's where like you create a shadow. It looks like you have a chiseled. Why do I do air quotes all the time? <laughs> did anyone notice how many air quotes I did? <laughs> drinking game every time Christina does an air quote take a shot I'm gonna use two different bronze I just did it again <laughs> okay I'm not gonna quote I'm gonna use two different bronzers hold on there's hair in my face this one isn't it says it's a bronzer I don't know it doesn't look like one but Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends Natural Radiance Bronzer in Sunkissed 30. I'm going to use that. This is like kind of like MAC Give Me Sun, actually. It's like reddish. You'll see. Oh, this is a, also a Wet n Wild brush. A dirty, dirty, dirty brush, but yeah. So you see how it just gives that like, can you see? Like a little bit of redness. Kind of like the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. Yeah. Same places. I put my contour and my bronzer in the same places. All the time. All the time. Oh! You forgot to contour the nose. A lot of people don't like this. But I have a crooked ass nose. And my mom, or people try to tell me like, no, Christine, you don't, you don't. No, I do. Don't lie to me. I take pictures of myself every day. I see it. I know it's there. So. My nose like goes like this, like, like I try to straighten it out. I just do a little bit here, a little bit here, and then a little bit on the nose to make a little button nose. On like days where I'm like, hey, with my full face of makeup, I'll like put brightening powder, I'll put like a line, I like get all schmancy fancy schmancy. I'll post pictures of people be like, do you get a nose job? I'm like, yeah, and I did it myself. But whatever, it's fine. It's my life, it's my face, it's my crooked ass nose. If I wanna contour it, I'll contour it. Okay, so the Revolution, Makeup Revolution London Vivid Baked Bronzer. This is a really cute bronzer. Um, it's from Ulta, from the Makeup Revolution brand. And I just like to do this on top of my bronzer because it gives it like a sun-kissed almost look. I'm like a bronzer-holic. If I'm not bronze, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay, now the blush. I have two that I'm going to mix together because I'm extra. I'm going to do the Maybelline Fit Me in... Uh, oh, peach. And then Wet n Wild in Rose Champagne. And that's my $2.99 price sticker. So, we're going to use, I'm going to use the same brush that I use. Who is blowing up my phone? And I always like to put a like, 
like a round. I don't know. I like it. I like it. Okay. Highlight. So I use this brush to highlight. It's Real te Techniques. Also great brushes. Super cute. Can you see? There we go. I'm going to use, excuse me, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter from Ulta. Really cute. It's called, it's number 10, Be My Highlight. Be My Highlight. I just put a little bit. It's just like a very, I think it's like a champagne pearl, like natural highlight. I think it like really blends into the skin. It's not one of those like, hi, you can't see me. Like, no, it's not like that. And honestly, that's not really my thing. Like, I'll do it for Instagram, for the pictures. But like, if I'm leaving the house, I'm not going to like have a strip of gold coming off my cheekbone. It's just like, not my thing. Okay. So, I have two palettes that I'm going to use for the drugstore. One, Carly Bybel, BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette this thing is great 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 you can get this at Ulta you can get this at bhcosmetics.com this is the original one a new one came out with like extended with an extended um row of other shades I didn't get that one because I have this one it's like well I mean I have a thousand eyeshadow like whatever so but this is it's fine I love this one it's really good and then the other one is Juvia's Place, the Nubian palette. But they have like colorful ones, like really nice ones. Like I, I definitely recommend them. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like the same thing I do every day, a brown smoky eye. And I'm gonna use some Morphe brushes. <laughs> so, okay, so the Carly palette has pretty much, I think, like, almost all shimmer shades. So I'm going to use this shade here as, like, a transition. Just, like, a little transition. Yeah, that's nice. Stop crying. They are so annoying. Every day. Also, side note, I'm going to go in with this little like purpley shade now, these two. Every day, I get home from work first. My husband gets home second. For the hour that I'm home, before our husband gets home, they cry. Every time they hear a noise, every time they hear something, they cry. I don't know why. I really don't know why. They run to the freaking door, the garage where he comes in. Thinking it's him all the time. Super annoying. Let me see a little bit. There we go. So I'm just blending these out. I'm going to darken the crease a little bit with this deep purple and this brown black shade. Like so. And then you just blend it out like so. If guys wonder why it takes three hours for girls to get ready, blending is the reason. Because you have to make sure it's blended. You have to. Because if you walk outside and you don't blend your eyeshadow, it's going to look like someone took a shit on your eye. It's gonna look like that because you just throw eyeshadow on there and it's like, hi, I'm here. No, you can't. You have to blend it out. It has to be smooth. Practice blending, I'm telling you. My blending used to suck, but I practice. You should not, there should just be a smooth transition from one color to another. It should be seamless. We're gonna add a light shade. So, I think I'm feeling this guy right here right there 
So I'm going to add back to the lid using this vintage cosmetic company brush. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Yeah, pretty sure. And just add that. See how pigmented these shadows are? And the palette is like $14 or something. Just add that to the lid. And it just brightens everything up. Now, I always just go in and add a little bit more dark just to like seamlessly blend it like over here. Always remember, key, 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 key rule. What goes up must go down, right? Right. So, what that means is, what goes up on your eyes must go down. So, some people will just be like, okay, my eyes are done. No. You need to add shadow underneath. I mean, you don't need to. This isn't like life or death. This is makeup. So, you get a small brush. I'm going to use this guy. It came in the same set as that one from BoxyCharm. And the shadows that I put up top, I'm going to put it below. Everything needs to be cohesive. So, we're going to start with the shadow from the Juvia's Place palette. If I can get it open. Okay. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Now I'm going to use the shades from the Carly Bible palette. So, I'm going to take the dark colors and I'm going to put them on this little MAC 208. This is like a brow pencil brush, but whatever. And I'm just going to blend it. Mascara. I'm going to use the CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I don't have a lot of drugstore mascaras. Um, I am a mascara snob. I really like expensive mascaras. I'm not going to go over them because this is a drugstore tutorial and I'm not going to talk about high-end things. So, CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I just got this uh, PR package from CoverGirl and there was a lot of stuff in there. A lot of great stuff. This was one of them, this one, and the waterproof one. And I think it's cool so far. I haven't really tried it out that much. Um, I do have mascara on my eyes already. Bad, I know. I don't really take my mascara off every day. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going to put this on anyway for the sake of this video. And, yeah, I mean, it's you could see. It's not bad. I got to try it with nothing on my eyes. And then it'll be a true test. Lashes. I wear lashes a lot, not gonna lie. Um, I like them. So I'm gonna use these Ardell. You, if you wanted to stop look here, you could, you could for sure, you could. But I'm going to wear lashes. So I'm going to use these Ardell Wispy. I like to wait until the glue is like super, super tacky, like almost dry, like not dry, but like pretty much dry because then it just like sticks right on. I hate, hate when you put a lash on and it's like slip and slide across your eyelid. Worst feeling ever. Worst feeling ever. Um, also, before we move on, I fill in my beauty marks. Yes, I'm one of those people. Yes, I know it's annoying, but I love them. I love the marks on my face and I hate that when I put makeup on, they get covered. I would love to get a tattoo of my beauty mark because then I don't have to worry about it. But just this little guy right here, I just take like whatever brow pencil I have laying around and I'm just like, boop, there he is. He's back. And then I'll like pat over it a little bit and he's there. You see, it just like changes the look. I don't know. Okay. Now, wait. Why is nothing happening? You ever like feel like you're spraying your face and you like you miss the spot and you just like can't get the spot all the time. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna do, yeah. I'm going to do this NYX lip lingerie in lace gloves, and then we're going to put a gloss on top. This is the MUA Makeup Academy. I got this at CVS, I think. 
uh, lip gloss and nude. Oh, that's nude. I think we're done. Okay, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and I will have a new video soon, hopefully. If you like this video, please click the like button, comment down below. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, or any videos that you wanna see next. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you very much for watching and let's get to this look.